First at 5 o'clock, the owner of Tally's Good Food Cafe has been sentenced to one year of probation after prosecutors say he stole nearly $8,000 worth of items from Sam's Club. Thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Lori Fulbright. And I'm Craig Day. Talal Alamey was also ordered to reimburse Sam's after he pled guilty last month. News on 6's Reagan Ledbetter is live outside the courthouse with more from both sides. Reagan. Craig and Lori Alame's attorney say Alame admits he didn't pay for the items in question and does owe Sam's Club money, but he doesn't admit to willfully stealing from the store. Prosecutors argued this was not just a mistake, it was a crime. Prosecutors say Talal Alame didn't pay for several items during several shopping trips while using the self-checkout app at Sam's from the fall of 2022 to March of 2023 for a total of $7,800 worth of goods. The store reported Alame selected large amounts of items, but only scanned and paid for a few at a time. Alame's attorney, Brett Swab, says this was all an issue with the Sam's Club Scan and Go app, not a matter of Alame intentionally stealing. From day one, we just wanted the, the money to be paid back. That's what our client wanted um, and nothing else. We just wanted to be treated fair, and I think um, throughout this process, as he hasn't been by the state. An assistant manager at Sam's testified Alame showed up to the store shortly after Alame's arrest and offered to pay back the money. Prosecutors say Alame also hand-delivered cinnamon rolls to the district attorney's office. Prosecutors argued Alame did this because he wanted to make it all go away. We weren't surprised. Throughout this whole case, the state, frankly, has acted very childish. And uh, you could tell in the courtroom that they were bringing up uh, factors that have no relevance. The Tulsa County District Attorney's Office released a statement saying it's important to hold accountable those who think they can beat the system. Stealing nearly $8,000 worth of merchandise is not a mistake, it is a crime. Alame's attorney says Tally's has lost a lot of business since the arrest. I would encourage Tulsans to continue to support Tally. He's been a member of this community for decades. Now, Lame is also banned from shopping at Sam's during his probation, and he's ordered to pay the money back within 30 days. Now, if he stays out of trouble over the next year, Alame can have the conviction removed from his record. Live in downtown Tulsa, Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.